Hey guys, welcome back to this amazing course of Facebook marketing. And in this video, we are going to give you a proper step-by-step -step tutorial of Facebook business manager settings. Yes, you heard right. We are going to give you all settings tutorial because in the upcoming days, you are going to learn about paid marketing in Facebook, right? And for that, you need business manager account and you have to use or you have to understand all the settings and options of that particular business manager account. Otherwise, there's a high chance that you can uh, mess up all the things or the uh, settings in business manager. So it is pretty important to understand all the settings and options. So let's get into the video without any further ado. So guys, as you can see right now, I'm in my Facebook account. This is my profile and the timeline, right? So first you have to access your meta business suit to uh, go into business manager account right so click on the see all button and here's the menu and from this menu i'll be clicking on this meta business suit option once i redirect it to meta business suit option i have to click here and here i'll be able to see this business account basically this is my business manager account right and here i have one page connected i have account connected here which is mf global both are same right now to access business manager account settings you have to click on this setting icon this setting option and once you click here you will be able to access the settings of only this business manager account if you have multiple business manager account you'll be able to see the multiple settings option as well right so let me just click on this and once i click here let me just yeah let me expand this yeah so this is the overview of business manager account. This is not the actual setting. The, uh, these are basically the overview of my business manager account, right? Now, in order to access all the settings, proper settings, proper options, I have to click on this option, business setting. Otherwise, I can go to this option as well and there I'll get a small button. Let me just show you. This is business account info, right? Once I click here, Here's my business account ID and this is my option to go into actual settings of business manager account, right? So if I click go to business settings, I'll be redirected here where I can access or I can manage all the business manager account settings, right? Now let me go back and just give you an idea about these overview settings. So I've already tell, uh, told you about this business account info where you only get this much information only nothing else when we click on business assets you'll able to see all the assets whether it is page ad account instagram account other accounts as well other things like application then business creative folder catalog custom conversions email account event database offline event set pixels and then whatsapp account which is connected with your account right so all the settings will be shown here right and I click on this all asset button so all asset whether it is page account instagram account whatsapp account all things will be shown here right now we don't we do have only two accounts for uh, sorry we do have only two assets basically the first one is page and the second one is whatsapp account which is connected right then the third option is people whom you have given the access right now only one account have access to this business manager account right so if you are or if you want to add more people you just have to click here add people and you can give access to other people as well right there's a five step simple process first you have to enter the email that then you have to add the business account details then the assets which you want to assign and then the review and the done right so basically it allows you to uh, determine the assets that of which asset you want to give the access right so this is a simple process i'll show you in two three minutes or oh, let me just show you right now okay i just click here i write here email so once i write the email uh, this option that uh, do you want to give temporary access or not so let's say i want to give temporary access then i have to enter the date that for how much time you want to give the access right so let me just turn it off and then go to the next option now here you have to add the detail uh, close this yeah then here you have to add the all business account details like which type of uh, control you want to give whether it is full control or not then you have other option that 
you want to give app access or not so everything would be customizable according to you right then if you hit the next button here you can choose the asset of which you want to give the access let's say i want to give uh, the access of my facebook page only right then hit the next button now it is asking that wait asset is not selected yeah now you have to determine these options as well like you want to give access to the content you want to give access to ads and all let's say i want to give access or uh, all these op uh, options access right then hit the next button now here we have the review that you have to review that of which property or of which asset you are giving the access and what are the accesses are mentioned here right now you just have to hit the hit the send button and the request will be sent let me just close this i don't want to give the access right now then we have partnership basically if you uh, if you have done any paid partnership on instagram you have you might have seen paid partnership option in instagram right so if you have done any kind of paid partnership you can connect those influencers account with here right then we have this request if you have any if you got any request or if you have sent any request like uh, i was showing you the access invitation you have sent so that request will be shown here now we have four options the uh, we have billing options then ad account settings business account settings and language settings so in billing option you will be redirect to ads manager let me just show you yeah you will be redirect to this ad manager where you can manage your billings but we are not going to do this right now just turn this off then we have language settings if you click this so you will be redirect to language settings directly on facebook right nothing important let me just close this then we have ad account settings so if you click on this you will be redirect to ad account settings nothing else right so the ad manager is opening and here you will be able to access the settings of ad manager basically let me close this now let's talk about the main business settings business account settings business manager settings basically so it is redirecting and the business manager settings are here now some of the uh, options are already same as i've shown you in the overview section right now here if you want to add people into your account you can just click on the add button and the same procedure will be here as well right now if you want to add any partners you can do that as well then if you want to add system users you can add that as well now this was all about the users option let me just close this now we have account options in accounts we can manage pages add accounts then business asset groups as i have shown you earlier like all the assets you can manage here right let me just close this right now now let's start with pages so right now we do have only one page if you want to create you can do that as well from here only and if you want to give access you want to manage access all the things can be done here right just the thing the page should be connected then we have this ad account setting if you want to create one ad account you can do that as well from here just add an ad account request ad account or create new ad account you can do anything tons of options are here then we have business assets i already shown you then we have apps which you have connected basically if you want to connect any app you can do that as well if you want to request any app you can do that as well then we have instagram account you want to connect you can we have whatsapp account you want to connect you can right then data sources in data sources all that uh, things related to data will be shown here let's say catalog then obviously if you want to create catalog you can create right otherwise request option is also there then we have pixels pixels will uh, i'll show you that what what is the use of pixels but right now we don't need any so let's just close this then event database custom conversions all these settings are related to data when you run ads all the settings will uh, gonna be needed sometimes right then we have custom conversion if you want to create or if you want to manage your custom conversions you can do that as well then event source group then shared audience then audience creative folder which we could access from the overview section as well then we have brand safety if you have your proper brand and you want to run your ads your brand uh, your ads for the brand then brand safety is pretty important you can 
add your domain so that no one can harm your brand right so to create domain you have to click here otherwise you can request the domain as well then if you want to uh, add something in your block list you can do that as well then registrations you can register your news pages basically you have only one option you can register the news pages right from here you have to select the pages if you have but not right now so it is basically for if you have news page right now and you are proper doing or basically creating a proper news company on that particular page so you can claim or you can register that page here right then we have integrations if you want to connect any app which uh, i was shown you in the previous video where we have shown you other third party apps which can be connected with your facebook account right in order to manage your business properly so you can do that as well but right now we don't have any that's why there is no connected apps here but you can connect if you want that can be done in business man sorry meta business suit right the leads access if you get any lead through those connection connected apps then leads access will be shown here right let me just close this now we have few more options like payment methods you can add your payment methods as well then security center options or the settings related to security account security basically will be shown here right you can turn on your two-factor authentication as you can see you can add another domain if by chance you lose your admin access there will be secondary option for you right then we have verification for mf global if you want you can verify your page as well but it is right now ineligible right then we have requests so all the requests if you have sent if you have received invitation all the requests and invitations can be managed from here the notifications obviously notifications are pretty important so these are the toggles which you get turn on or turn off according to your choice according to your preference then business info all the uh, information related to your business you can add your legal business the business address then your phone number all the things can be added here right so i hope you understood the things now at the end we have setup guide if you need proper guidance regarding the setup all the things can be done from here you can claim your ad account request your ad account create ad account then you can claim request and create your page as well then we have the access or the admin you can add admin you can add employer so this will be done under the guidance of facebook right so i hope you understood all the settings all these information which is related to business manager i hope this is helpful for you and obviously if you are going to run your paid ads on facebook then definitely it will gonna help and with that said let's meet in the next video and for now if you like the video hit that subscribe and like button we'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye